All right, today we're gonna go over the R15CT by Residence. Residence is uh, made on it is an Italian company, and today we're gonna talk about this this specific model and what you get when you order an R15C, which is a combination of audiometry and tympanometry, and you can do a customization one, which is OAE. But today we're gonna focus on the audiometry and the tympanometry and what you get in the package. You get the bag, the stylish bag that you can carry. Inside it, you will have all your components. You'll have a stylus, a thumb drive, which it has the documentation and the MDS software you, you get for free. And we'll put on a software called Team Viewer so we can remote in and help you if you ever need us. And a pen. You get a box of uh, silicone tips, uh, five each, 25. You will get a uh, the base, the cradle, the charger that goes with it, the patient response button that goes with it. You just plug it in right over there on that side. If I can get it correctly, I'm sorry about that. Go. Oh. And you get the DD45 headset bone conduction and multi-frequency probe for the tympanometry. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll take a look at it. First thing we're gonna do is uh, come on over and I'll, I'll show you on this side. This is where you're gonna put your bone conduction connector and you're gonna plug in your headphones. This is also where you'll plug in your pro, uh, multi-frequency probe for tympanometry and your pump connection. On this side, you have your power button Right there then you have a charging port you have your patient response button and then you have a USB slave drive on the cradle you will see that you have your calibration cavity you can also charge it while it's sitting on the cradle through that port all right so we're gonna go ahead and open it up and take a look the lock code on these are one two three four they're simple so as you can see, this is pretty laid out simple. You have your tone audiometry. You have your auto threshold, your Houston Westlake. You have your speech audiometry. Then you have a, uh, a children's replay test. The children's replay test is an interactive audiometry test for children. Uh, it helps them to interact. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Then you have your tympanometry, your reflexes, your quick, your decay, your ETF. Now this one is specialized, it has OAE, which is your DPOAE, and your uh, TEs, and, but we're not gonna be in the, the, the OAEs, we're just gonna talk about the other stuff. So the first thing we wanna also look at now is the setup. We can go in here, I can customize the date and how I want the patient, the, the year, the month, date, year, and then I can, this tells me about how many tests I have, the, when it, when's the next calibration due, my percentage of battery left, everything. So, now in this audiometry, we can have, we can turn on or off our frequencies, whatever, which ones we want. The only one we cannot turn off is the 1000 frequency. So we'll just turn every one of them on, press OK. Tracking is for like when you move up and down a DB and it, it causes you would uh, it turns the masking on We're not going to do that your steps are one five and two So in your DB level You can change the way the display looks And then you can maintain the level the calibration here is if it is we offer free a free field the free field is a um speakers and amplifier pre external amplifier now this is something that you can use for free field but most of the time if you're out in the field you won't be using free field and we'll go over to impedance this is your tympanometry you have your sensitivity your lower your high you have it on auto run which means the minute it gets a seal it will kick on you have your calibration for your daily calibration your reflex angle your classification your view, your YBG, you can switch it to Y, or you can switch to YBG. Your IP30 for inserts, uh, for your Contra, that's that one right there. And then you can have adult and children. We'll go back, we'll switch it over to children, leave it there. It'll ask us to save it. 
in the tone audiometry was you have an option of cho choosing steady pulse or warble you have your most uncomfortable level here or your AC you have a talk over which you can talk in to this mic right here and it will go into the headphones and then you can have this set to whatever save this so here is where we're going to change our DB level or in our frequency level if you would prefer to use masking you would use that so you would emit the tone and if a patient raises their hand because they're not using the patient response button you just hit that and this is just an example and it goes all the way over and if you want to do the next side you just click over you see where it turns blue in the tail same thing you just do that 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 and because right now it doesn't have the patient a patient's name when you go to click backwards it's going to ask you if you want to save the test you click yes if your patient isn't listed in here you can click this you can fill out the name last name first name is c i'll just use uh c last name l we'll just put a w instead the date of birth month year year what's the gender and then you would just click this and hold this down once you fill all that out for six seconds uh, let me see if I can get it to do what I want. There you go. And then, see, I got this one. I say I want to put that test under there. I come over here to this bottom and I hit the check mark. And so we'll go to patients. And as you can see, there's the tone audiometry test under that patient's name. Now, if I want to go back and review it, I can highlight, I'll highlight the patient's name. And I'll say, I want to see what the, the temp looked like. I'll come over here to the eye. I'll click it. You click the left and right to left to right. You can also uh, print it up through an external wireless printer, which I'll show you in a little bit. Okay. So next is our uh, auto threshold, and it's self-explanatory. It goes from left to right. You have AC, and you have steady. You can't change that. So you just hit, you know, when you're ready to start, and they've got the patient response button in their hand and they've got their headphones on you just hit start so we'll just okay the next is our children's replay this is a replay that is a trial version right now this allows you to uh, help chi a child assess their hearing all right this is something you have to condition a child it with you have to tell them all right you're going to see a animal He's going to be playing an instrument for a band. We'll go into this modality real quick. Now, if he doesn't hear the tone, he has to throw the toy, the instrument away. If he hears the tone, he puts it in a trash can. So, you can choose between steady pulse and warble, AC or bone conduction, right or left, or then you can, or you can do right and left. You can turn this on. This eye will allow you to see at the bottom what frequency and DB you're at. You can customize the levels. You have three preset protocols that you can set up for yourself to customize. So if you want to test all, you can turn it on, then you would just hit until it turns green. This is the min minimum DB it starts at. This is the max DB, and it would go through auto. So this is just an example. So right now you're in the test. As you can see, there's a frequency. Here's your DB level. And they're on the right ear. Child will tap the instrument, the animal. Did he hear a tone? Yes. Did he hear a tone? No. Did he hear a tone? No. And so forth. Now this does have a, uh, a stop phrase, a phase. Is if a child answers incorrectly three times that he's hearing tones when he's not it will it will stop if you can let me pull the ski off a little bit does that help you a little bit you'll see right down here there was two consecutive uh responses that with no sound even though he said i heard a sound so it stops you during that test so it will not go further to get out of the test you have to sit there and hold this down for six seconds all right, so we'll put that right back over there for a second.
So the next thing we're going to do is show you, this is where your headphones would hook up when you're doing any kind of audiometry test. Just plug them in right there. And you should be good to go. And the next thing we're going to do is look at the bone conduction. The bone conduction simply just fits right in the slot. If you look right here, there's a little groove at the bottom with the arrows. Plug it right in and it's good to go. Now you can do your bone conduction testing. All right. Next, we're going to look at the tympanometry. So we use the same tympanometry, uh, the connector. See the slot, the arrows in the slot. We'll just put it right down here, connect it. This is, a, this is the pump tube. It is essential that you connect it or you won't get any good reading. And there you go. So we're gonna go into the tympanometry. Now this has been set up, as you saw earlier in the children's stage in the, in the setting. So we're gonna go to tympanometry. And as you can tell right there where it says it has a child's face, that means it's in child mode. So put it in my ear. See if I can get a good seal here. And as you can see, it says ready now, and down here it says complete. And if a child's touching it, he can't get out of it. You have to hold it down for six seconds. And as you can see, again, my hand is not the best in studying this right now. So let's try it one more time. And that's a better reading. Now if you want to do the other ear, you just switch it and then you can go to the left or right. Now, if you want to do multi-frequency, you can switch it to the 1000, and you can do the three. So we'll do that real quick. See, it says complete. We're gonna go ahead and back out of that. And as you can see, there's three tests. So it'll ask me if I want to save it. I'll say yes. We'll click the, the we'll click this one, click the arrow, the checkbox, and there. And then when we go back in, you can see where we did the temp and the high frequency tympanometry. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at reflexes. With the reflexes, you can do Ipsy Contra or Ipsy and Contra. We're just gonna do Ipsy today. You can choose the, you can turn all the frequencies off except for the 1000. So if, depending on what you want. So there's got 500, 1000, 2000, 4000. The max is already set for this. But if you say you didn't have, a, you wanted to start out at, at 65, you have a choice. Then you can set your increments up in, in either five or 10 and you can choose how fast that you want it to go. So I'll just set it to 95 on the max on me. I'll set it to one second. And so we'll do my right ear real quick. As you can see, it says complete, and you back out of it. Let's get rid of this film. It's not responding right. And then you can see the reflexes. Now you can zoom in by holding your holding it down. So that way you can see, and then you can look at all of them individually. So that's just a way to see this in a child's mode. 
So put this under her again. So we've done the, the tympanometry, we've done the reflexes, we've done the quick. Let's do the quick real quick. We're gonna do it right here. Tells you the max. You've got three sets of protocols you can change and set up any way you want. Your, your zero DPA, your peak, your ipsy or contra. One second, two seconds, fast or whatever. So we'll go ahead and just do it this way. Give me just a second. So if the probe is loose or you're talking or something happens where it doesn't get a good seal, it'll stop you. Okay, you'll see it says ready, it says complete down here. During that test you saw where it said temp, then it went to the reflexes. So let's press this and get back out of it. And then we can choose to save it. And if you see it, there's our quick check. Let's highlight that and look at that real quick. Boom, right there there and then you want to see reflexes you come over here tap that boom 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 all right and the next we're going to look at is the ETF for you station so you have 226 you have your auto you have 100 200 second and you're ready And there you have your use station tube testing. So we'll get out of this one. We'll say yes. Click her name again. All right. The last thing we're going to talk about is the decay. For right now, you can hit decay, and then you can change if you need ipsy or contra. You know, if you need 10 seconds, 20 seconds, your dB and your hertz level, and you just hit start. Okay, once it's done, you can hold your button down for six seconds and the main screen, it'll give you your test results. All right. So any questions, any concerns? Now, as far as patient-wise, like I said, I showed you how to set up a patient. We talked about all the, the, the tests, the children's replay tests, the tympanometry, the reflexes, the decay, the quick. If you have any questions, just give us a call at uh, or send us an email at what's the email is this? Info. Info at at eartech.com. All right, thanks. I can cut that last piece off.